Hey everyone, welcome to Be With The Tea. Now, before I get into this tea, you guys already know I'm doing a $125 B's birthday giveaway. Now this giveaway ends on March the 7th and in order to qualify, you must be a subscriber. So click the subscribe button below, comment on videos and leave your cash app in the comments and make sure you put B-Day next to it. So I will know it's for this giveaway. You have to put B-Day next to your cash app name in order to qualify you guys, okay? Now, good luck. Now. Let's get into this tea. Okay, you guys, so Lizzo goes live and she basically talks about rejection and she talks about being toxic. She brings up like a past situation where a guy was not giving her the attention that she really wanted from him. And she also talks about not wanting to be responsible for other people's feelings as far as their feelings and how they feel for her and her having to carry that burden. Take a listen. Yeah boys because i'm like oh why didn't he call me back why didn't he text me back like oh he hates me he's just so toxic like he's but i'm like that man did not he didn't want to talk to me he just did not want to talk to me does that make him wrong no does that make it hurtful yes fucking hurt but he's not wrong because he didn't want to fucking talk to me. So now when I'm that person, I'm realizing I gave that man a position of power in my life or that person a position of power to be like, oh, this hurts. You're hurting me by not, do not doing what I want you to do. But I'm empowering them in my life. Empowering somebody who doesn't really who didn't really earn that position. Now I find myself in a power position in people's lives. And I used to be such a people pleaser because of that. I realized my power and I was like, ah, oh, let me make sure da 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 because I know that if I don't do this, they're going to be unhappy or they're going to be hurt. But that's not your responsibility. It's not your fault that somebody put you in the driver's seat. In their driver's seat. Bitch, let me be the passenger. Let me be the backseat driver. But bitch, you need to be the driver of your own shit. Your own emotions. Your own life. Now, if you care about somebody, of course, you're going to care about their feelings. To the highest extent. But for the most part, I feel like we spend a lot of time doing what we think people want us to do and not what we want to do. So I've been on my own shit. A little too honest. A little too real, a little too to myself, a little too protective of my energy, my space. But I think everybody should fucking be that way. I, I don't want to be in charge of anybody's feelings because they're your feelings. I don't feel your feelings. Now I'm an, an empath, so I can empathize strongly if somebody stubs their toe in front of me i go ah you know what i'm saying because i feel you but nobody can really truly feel that other person's feelings so it almost seems fucking irrational sometimes or like why you feel that way like it's just spilled milk bitch this milk means everything to me okay you know i don't want to be in charge of that i don't i'm done i'm, I'm like literally But I think society taught us that we're supposed to dot, dot, dot. So I'm beating myself up a lot these days. So is toxic just not doing what somebody wanted you to do? Damn, she ain't text me back or she ain't hit me up. She's toxic. When I told her to hit me up. Am I toxic? 
What is it? Because I've been really wondering, like, what the fuck is going on? What is toxic? What is... What is it? Toxic can be relative. If you're if you have celiac, then gluten is literally toxic. <laughs> but I can eat gluten without having no issues. So it's not toxic to me, so maybe it is relative. But I have been in the position of the person who felt like someone was toxic. And now I'm in the position where I feel like I'm toxic. I'm being toxic to someone. And I'm like, damn. Maybe toxicity is not what I thought it was. Maybe people just going to do what they want to do. But why is it so hard to leave people? That's a whole other conversation. But back to my booty cheeks flapping in the wind. <laughs> it's about to be booty cheeks season. Thighs. Arms. Back fat. Belly. Hips. Hip dips. Armpits. Upper back, lower back, bitch. Hugging people. Hugging fans in my shows. That's going to be so... That's... Bitch, what the fuck? See, this is why I need a dog, because I feel like I just heard, like, a little animal run through my shit real quick. Okay, so everything was fine, you guys. She was good. But I just had to add that extra clip in there because I thought it was so funny, okay? I love Lizzo and her confidence. But what do you think about what she said about being responsible for other people's feelings? She really made some good points to me, but I really want to hear what you guys have to say about that. So I want you to leave your comments below, okay? I would really like to hear your opinion, but that's all I have for you guys on today, and I will talk to you guys later.